Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So I just got finished watching 1960s The Magnificent Seven. So this movie was inspired by the Japanese movie The Seven Samurai. And in this movie you have this small group of seven men who are basically being paid to help a village rid it of uh, attackers who come to steal their crops and basically leave them starving. So when you hear that, it's not... So that's one of the negatives that I have with this movie is it's not as great of a story as I want it to be. But there's a lot of positives. And the main guy in this is Yul Brenner, who was the king in The King and I, and he was the villain in Westworld, the movie. But you also have Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen, who is best known for The Great Escape and for Bullet. So when I get to some of these positives, the biggest one that I actually have is the interactions. I liked the chemistry between Brenner and McQueen. I thought there was inter great interactions between the villagers and the seven and among the seven themselves. So it's like you and then you got like to learn more backstory with these characters. The other thing I liked is the action. There's a lot of good gunplay in here. And it definitely made for a more entertaining western than what I had watched previously. And as a side note, there was, a couple years ago, there was a remake of this with Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt as the two main leads. I will have to say, even though I think the story is better than that, I was more drawn to this movie. So overall, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. It's a very good movie. And again, a better Western than I thought it was going to be. But that is my review for 1960s. The Magnificent Seven. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.